our lives have been made easier in Blazor 4.NET 5 when we want to do focus on an HTML element. Before, what we had to do for that was to use JavaScript, but now, with a new c -sharp method, we can do just that. The new method is called focus async and it allows us to make focus on an HTML element. Let's see an example. Here we have this button here that says do focus and here we have this text box that we want to do focus through this button. So let me click outside of the text box to unfocus it and then let me click on do focus and as you can see, we automatically gain focus of the text box. And not only that, if I leave the component, let's say I go here and then I go back to focus, then you will see that after the component loads, we have an automatic focus on the text box, which means that we can configure which elements receive the focus when the component loads. Let's go to Visual Studio and see how we did this. As you can see, we have this input here, which is the text box, which is referenced by this element reference variable text input that we have here. And the new functionality is this method focus async that we have here, which allows us to focus on the element. As you can see, when I click this button, I am executing this functionality that is invoking the focus async method on this text box that we have here. And not only that, but I am using the on after render async lifecycle method so that whenever the component gets rendered, then I am using the focus async method on the text input variable. Why am I using the on after render async and not the on initialize async method? The reason for that is that in order to do focus on an element, we first need that element to be rendered. That is why we cannot use on initialize async, but we have to use on after render async so that after the component has been rendered, then we can apply focus on an element. And of course, we only want that focus to be done on the first rendering of the component. That is why I am using this first variable here. And I am saying if this is the first time that the component has been rendered, then and only then I want to focus on the specified text box. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want me to cover next. Thanks.